XXXTentacion, a rising star in the hip-hop community during the 2010s, beginning from grassroots movements in Florida, X began recording music at a very young age. From the streets, X had a rough upbringing full of violence and jail time. All the while, his popularity and musical ability continued to grow. One fateful day in 2015, X dropped Look At Me and became a celebrity overnight. Infectious flows, unique rap lyrics, and versatility backed by heavy bass and distorted 808s made X stand out among his peers. X defined the new generation and brought in a much-needed fresh sound to the hip-hop landscape. His demonic, tormented upbringing, emotional vulnerability, and screamo hype music led the youth to flock to his sound. Personally, growing up on X, his raw message and energy was all-encompassing. If not for his tragic demise in 2018, I believe he would be the face of hip-hop. Instead, we were left with an unfilled footprint. It has been five years since his passing, and to give my tribute to one of my favorite rappers, I found this playlist with every X song imaginable. Shout out Vipo. Note, the playlist says there are 263 videos, but there's only 256 videos in the playlist due to hidden and unlisted videos. The playlist did not include songs such as Jocelyn Flores, nor Orlando, nor Sad, so I obviously added them in. Also, I made the executive decision to treat the Alone Parts 1 through 4 as one complete song. On the playlist, there were a few repeats where the OG version and the edited version are both included, so I opted to include what I thought was a better version to avoid duplicates on the list. For example, I put the Num and the Num Acoustic as the same and the School Globes version with Lil Nas and the X Only version as the same as well. If there was a drastic enough difference, I included it as a separate track. I ended up with 251 tracks to rank. Before I start, I want to make a disclaimer to say music should be explored however you wish and whatever route you decide to take your imagination. Don't let the number of the rankings I make be too serious. And if you're really pressed about one of your favorite songs being ranked, just remember I'm human. And it's cool if we disagree on music taste. I truly believe it would be a boring world if everyone liked the same tunes. Just be robotic. So without further ado, let's get after it. Starting off our list... Number 251, the introduction to Skins. It's a robot voice I didn't care for. The introduction for Bad Vibes Forever. Whack, he's dead, please let him rest. The introduction for Question Mark. Uh, I like its message of being open. It's far more versatile and more uplifting compared to 17's. The explanation. Uh, it's a fantastic explanation for his best album to not value money and value your acceptance and loyalty. Unfinished trash should have stayed in the closet. She can't let it go. But I definitely can. Repetitive whole song. Couldn't understand a word X said. Beat was meh. Couldn't be asked. Cash grab incoming. Very forgettable. In the frozen hells below mid. Like what the fuck did I actually listen to? I think my ears just bled out. Messing around with the boys at the lunchroom. Pretty trash. I was about to pass out listening to this. Cash grab. Recorded this with a toe. Undeveloped. But hey, it's the first ski and X collab on the playlist the world would be a better place without this song 808s are nice besides that mid i did not feel the full boost cash grab cash grab featuring Lil wayne cash grab featuring rick ross cash grab featuring noah cyrus cash grab in spanish pure cringe an unreleased demo the lyrics are not completed sounds and the overall composition was still being developed however no autotune jaw sounds really good beat goes crazy the mixing for the bar sucked Beat is crazy, song is incomplete, the producer tried to make the most out of this X snippet as possible. I can't even understand him though. I like the dreary Bells instrumental, I think the cover's hard. Weird flex, but uh, okay. It's a cool introspective, but not really a song. Disgusting beat, Craig Zen is absolutely filthy. Never really liked it, slow song, aged like fine milk, in this bitch cold. Jamaican reggae rap fusion. Not for me, but the beat really doesn't match the vocals or substance. An X and Kid Cudi collab. Uh, they muffled X's lyrics. I'm pretty sure they took X's verse from a members only song. Insane. He was only 14 or 15 spitting coherent stories. The glitch was a nice artistic touch, showing his imperfection and his art and character. Overrated. Dead. Loopity loopity loop. Short Kings abandoning humanity. It's cool to know there's another draft, but I understand why he didn't drop this version. And whoever in the stew said he snapped on that at the end, put the cap in Captain Crunch. Forgettable. Unfinished. It could have been very good. Hey, We'll live on forever. It's alright, I guess. Hard video, bro. The song low-key blows. Heavy metal immersion. He says a total of six different words throughout the whole song. 
Darkness, darkness, darkness. Good sample. Not used to ski rapping slow. Repetitive, not my vibe. I'm so confused. Yep, sounds like a freestyle. Definitely an older style freestyle. Song was made to help with depression and messes with the frequencies similar to Valentine. Yet after listening, my urge to take a bath with a toaster has never been higher. Some A's, some boys. It's I. Tip low key ruins the song. Instrumental is so good. I wish the lyrics got processed versus the raw take, and it's only a minute long. We need to bring back the term pab. Feels like a rejected GTA soundtrack song. Vocals raspy as hell. Swallow some lotion. PS2 opening noise carries. Starts with X saying you'll get what you deserve, and what you have is meant to be. There's a dark candlelight piano loop ambiance. It's not really a song. Basic metal song. Bro is spitting bars while behind bars. The worst collab between the dynamic duo of Ski and X. There's just way too much going on in the song. It's all over the place. It sounds like a Johnny Tess episode. Well mastered, including a message to Tina Belcher. More of a message than a song. Why have I never heard this before? Bad Baby sounds amazing here. And the beat breaks are a nice touch. I get why this made the Spider-Verse soundtrack. But X's part is only 10 seconds long. Didn't really grow on me, but Monkey D. Luffy posted it, so I had to give it a listen. Sadly, talking about some woman who could have been the one. I like the raw demo. I wish it could have been sonically finished. X is out here luring you in just to scream at your face. On his rival's beat, Rob Stone. Rob did it better, but... X can write some bars. A man, his guitar, and love songs. Ayo, Tom G snapped. Bodied, but short. Caps lock is on. Bass. Even more bass. Knock knock. Who's the <laughs> when you're trying to make a fire song, but it's a school night and your parents are asleep? Allegedly, this song slows down one's heart rate and reduces anxiety by 65%. Before being taken off SoundCloud, this song had 141 plays. This song came a year after X died. I don't know how to really feel about it. They also took X's verse from what should have been on the Yes Indeed remix. An example of uh, lyrics that made X very polarizing. He literally references Jesus' throat being wrapped around by a belt buckle. Hey, yeah. Very rare. High-pitched vocals reminiscent of Playboy Cardi's baby voice. J Solar remix is cleaned up from 2014. The X aggression's there, but you can't hear anything. And the cover art is absolutely demonic. Chuck no cheese. I like the distortion on the bass. I got Molly. I got Molly. Call it Dolly was pretty funny. Yo, legs are chap, and I mean that. <laughs> Ski pops off here. Shout out London Tipton. Makes an emo girl consider becoming a born again Christian. X's part is fire. Hard carry. The Ikea version of Roxanne by Arizona. Daniel Sky featuring X. Overall, really good track. It uses the arms all around you verse very well. Big ups Jimmy Levy for the soulful intro verse. And I heard that Maybach music. Long live Jaw. If you imagine the lyrics, it's pretty gross imagery. Would be a good post-apocalyptic wasteland driving movie song. Then he starts yelling for some reason. Kid Trunks carries, quote, a kim to kill you and your mama, end quote. But I can't really believe him because he faked cancer for a Fashion Nova sponsorship. Extremely relaxing song like Wind Through a Pine Tree. Noah Cyrus's verse is very soothing this song walked so take a step back could run sounds more like a kill station song with an x feature beat hits different on mute denzel comes in and destroys the song when the beats dropped it's a shame because it was just off tempo that moment when you realize amvs can be better than music videos in typical x fashion he lures you in with smooth appealing vocals and lyrics just to bring you up in close and personal to scream directly at you in the face mad demonic satanic ritual resurrecting the ghosts of my ex's feelings for me vibes rap about pain and being more diverse in the hip-hop community on a jazz instrumental song is good visuals are great Yeezus on punk metal rock type beat and of course x activated screamo mode don't get me wrong i'm open-minded but i'm not schizophrenic but this is kind of growing on me enzo out here trying to beat r&b chris brown while x tries to match the vibe guitar riff carries and the chorus loops beat go dummy pure screamo hype i wanted to be in the studio session watching him obliterate his vocal cords making this song the whole members only collection jumps in to distract you from the fact that x only repeats a single line finally a posthumous x feature with more than four words dubs in the chat less than a minute long hey blast blast it uh this is a definite hidden gem for real x fans before the fame rare part one very under the radar dark atmospheric uses the pretty boy swag beat the uh, chorus is intrusive thoughts when i bring a girl over uh i hate that i like this song after the trapaholics intro i knew this song would be harder than an obese boy at a buffet this is the outro to bad vibes forever it's a send-off song featuring blink 182 they talk about the ghost of their own life as an ode to goodbyes perfectly matches early 2000 animes energy. Caesar has majestic 
classic vocals. X's voice is way too low to hear. The whiny X chorus begging me not to cry really wants to make me cry from how bad it is. But little Wayne knows what he's doing and he spits bars with that triple XXX tension bar. Mary Jane, my concubine. Ski snaps, nice collab track. X's moaning really does it for me here. Red straight up copy and pasted Nav's whole style. The ocean eyes sample is a nice touch. A slinging slasher. Hit diff diff, bro. She wanna be famous for shaking her anus. I told her to Kim K and fuck on the flip. Into the Naruto Hinata scream. Ew! A perfect TikTok song. Above mid. I feel like X wouldn't have dropped this since it's an older perspective of himself and he was getting to be a better person. Joey's punchline, I put my soul in these bars like an alcoholic is hard. And Kemba's got a cool verse. PNB Rock featuring Nav and produced by Ronnie J introduces the hardest brown boy verse in a minute. X's son should have a remix called Dad. Cardi said Millie Rock. Rich the Kid said Plug Walk. And X says Jug Walk. Dark pads, bass, distorted 808s, kicks, hi-hat, classic SoundCloud X. It's confirmed water is wet. X's whole verse goes against the Jesus is King message, but he floats on the beat. Unique flow, cool little track. I wish it was longer. Young band showing respect to X. I like the use of X's high-pitched vocal to accompany bands on the Ready, Set, Go. I'm Michael Jackson Dangerous, new whip like I'm racist. Hard. Piano plus unedited, raw, emotional vocals. Limited word chant. This chorus would go crazy in a mosh pit. The actual verses are alright, but it's mosh pit essentials. I love the beat, and the second verse comes like an uppercut after the jabs. Mad underrated. Sounds like a movie or a Call of Duty trailer. Yes. Yes, you may flex. More bass and more scream equate to a better song. Beat reminds me of a ghetto Mexican ice cream truck. Train food discusses the inability to escape death. The piano chord on repeat increases in intensity as the storytelling progresses. The atmospheric train tracks eventually end with a bliss quietness. Kid Trunks and X combine on the chorus. I like the calmer and more lyrical structure of 777 compared to most other songs on Members Only Volume 3. Raw Fire uses the same instrumental as Pusha T's 2013 song, The Numbers on the Board. This was deleted in February 2014 but later leaked on the 10th of April 2020. X listed this track as one of his favorites. Intro is a radical with a speaker comm announcement before complete screamo with sound effects. Save him before he falls. Good deep cut from a very short album. A pretty piece of orchestra. The instrumental sounds uber professional and the vocals sound uplifting even though the lyrics are kind of questionable if you listen to them. Wi-Fi's funerals body bag. Ominous old western. I like the cadence on I don't trust my clout. A piano loop with slow hypnotic ballad. With a one punch man AMV, nearly all X's songs go well with action anime AMVs. Wi-Fi carries. Sad because he never got to grow old and jimmy levy brings out a love for aging backed by a symphony a trump intro that's anti-government not trusting them and concern for the youth bouncy track swaley pump and maluma deliver i think pump has the best verse fuck em, we've all repeated 10 times and cool little asian ting for the beat did money dance on my dick song is rude my neighbors love this song so much that they threw a rock at my windows to hear it better very deep song i like that this is all we know with that beat drop at the end remix featuring Joiner Lucas. Hey, the original was better. Quick flow compliments the synths and snares. For the house. Bells sound dope, and finally a message I can get behind. All titties matter. Get money, yeah, yeah. Rico makes it worse than the original. Switches flow style three times in 15 seconds. My money stretches like Luffy. Nice. What I thought were background vocals, but in actuality, X mumbles alongside an angelic voice. Very simple beat. This song shows X's infinite potential. Forum bells followed by claps with a nice rhythm. It is a vibe. Super speedy lyrics with the sci-fi city alarms. Boys, we making it out of the cafeteria with this one. That time X saved Kodak's leading single. Sonically broke the budget on that transition and heavy auto-tune. I like the drum, bass, and kick, followed by a nice, energetic electric guitar. The chorus and the verse matches the overall energy. A melodic heart feeling, trying to understand you for you. Crazy cadence change. Yo, he popped off. Soft-spoken, while he describes his mental health and beginning of pain. Heavily underrated. Dope future amp sound effect. Juicy J comes in with a good chorus. X saying, I have Ebola. <laughs> Super unique flow, pitched up vocals, up a decimal or two. Jeez! X's versatility is shown off here as he accompanies the song with a reggae Jamaican accent with boom-clat vibes. Best song on members only volume 4. X pulls up on man's and bass with ski and slides right on the tight track. X loves his double entendre here. I really like how the beat complemented Kinsoul and Kill Station. My favorite song from the album. I really like the chorus and the whole aesthetic. Trippy and 
PNB Rock really killed their part too. Revenge on my body! Into the Urkel voice rapping. Then Ski just does his part and destroys it. On King, they start screaming mid-track and it reminds me of when I lose on FIFA versus a mate when I have a 25 to 2 shot on target ratio. Ty Dolla Sign's hook is infectious and then Lil Wayne finds a way to impress even more. X's verse is sick too. Tons of repetitive phrases on both X and Ski's verses. Hearing this, I want to bring a mattress to a pillow fight. I got lost. Imagine 30 years from now having a rough day and your kids say they found this new song and play this and you start tearing up. X found a way to have screamo rap with flow. And and Ski did his thing. Sounds like a Fast and Furious soundtrack. The energy is absolutely insane on the track, and the high cadence is so dope. Try not to get sturdy challenge. Impossible. Beat came straight out of an 80s insane asylum. Beat that beat till it turned bloody black and blue. Very fucking rare. Demonic timing. Alone part 1 expresses depression. Alone part 2 expresses anger. Alone part 3 expresses complete numbness. Alone part 4 expresses peacefulness within his soul. Phi speeds up verse mid song. I never heard the full song before. Completely a hidden gem. Tay honestly kills his verse. And X woke me up with the whoa on a Xanax. Absolute slaughterhouse. One day I promise to freestyle over this absolute morbid depression. Please keep this hidden. Solid song about numbness, by numbness, and for numbness. On Guardian Angel, they flipped and reversed Jocelyn Flores. Guardian Angel focuses on X's upbringing from a vicious cycle and wishes to apologize to those who he has harmed. The maturity shows how X was mentally struggling to be a better person in life. I don't speak Rosetta. Patty Cake chorus is so clean, even the homies jump in on the patty cake. Allegedly talking about his ex, a short and simple depression and obsession loops with honest feelings, a beautiful acoustic guitar, and then backs X's vocals. Solely up here because of the beat. A much needed collab between X Trippy and production by Pierre. X goes into his comical verse style, and I miss this rookie straight out of the gate Trippy. A reminder that X isn't dead, he's just sipping tea in a better hood. Muy bien. Ah, finally, some good relaxing music to listen to. Gives us a lot of Suicide Boy vibes with a top flight flow. X portrays someone struggling with depression. Skin describes a person who ultimately commits unalive. The ambiance is melodramatic with gorgeous, imaginative lyrics. Question. What is money if it ain't worth the love finding it? The outro 17 focuses on his ex-girlfriend, as the name is presented in the title. Uh, X was actually accused for domestic abuse and false imprisonment on her. A reminder that X was not a perfect person and not a role model to be followed after. Joey Badass and X go bar for bar, and X literally stops rapping and hits us with a psych and then proceeds to go crazy. Proverb states that one can never go wrong with a PNB rock bridge. X admitted to hating his verse on the song, so this full version never got released. However, I completely disagree. The energy on this song is ridiculous. It's similar to puncturing an IV adrenaline pack straight into your lungs. It's an X and Ski classic. My favorite bars just hit my line, asked if my rap name is Extension. Yeah, no, it's XXX. You will catch my dick in your mentions. Yeah. Revenge is a perfect intro track to 17. It begins with an apology to his friend Jocelyn for not knowing about her battle with depression. The song gets you ready to experience an emotionally raw take on themes of negative mental health and as X attempts his revenge upon the world for his friend. I'm a big fan of the Confucius inspired line of digging two graves. The phrase is a Chinese proverb that means when you seek revenge, you are hurting yourself as much as you are hurting the person you seek revenge against. I describe Tightrope as a trip through paradise with a destination you may never experience. I suggest listening to this song in your car alone in an empty parking lot for a truly immersive trip. Scott James' vocals are crazy good and mixed well. There's a nice breakdown midway through the song with a harp giving an existential loop. I can see why X kinda just took Scott James' chorus without permission. X's storytelling is at its peak. Echoing his pain for his loss of his friend, the beauty in this track is how real the lyrics correspond with his emotions. A masterpiece. Diplo creates an intergalactic instrumental which matches the Martian-like autotune vocals. The ending goes berserk with the EDM keys and wraps up the song swimmingly. Bars! Big ups to Jazzy Boom Bap. The first posthumous single to go number one since Biggie's Mo Money Mo Problems. Sat has racked over 2 billion streams on Spotify and has been certified as a diamond record. Sad was conceived by X sampling 
his BMW i8 to produce the plucking sound. Throughout the song, X describes himself as struggling with severe depression due to his fears that his relationship with his girlfriend might come to an end. His fears led him to even go as far as telling her that he would take his own life if she would leave him. Aged like fine wine, a creepy vibe atypical to pop norms, Noah Cyrus delivers incredible vocals with heavy synths. Again feels timeless. The first time I heard this, I didn't even know Miley had a sister. I guess the artist talent runs in their genes. Went brazy. Bar trading with a nasty tone with a nasty poem. Pretty kitty, dirty vagabond. Succumb to the maddest seamless, tra seamless transitions and bar finishing with impeccable flow ski and x at their best x prophetically speaks on the plague of demons the song forewarns the viewers that the devil doesn't come to you with a red face and horns he comes disguised as everything you ever wanted along with another message about human behavior which is dead people receive more flowers than the living ones because regret is more powerful than gratitude devil on my soul rest in peace shiloh dynasty keep moving forward X drops a futuristic and smooth love song where he compliments a girl by telling her how good she looks in the moonlight. This also inspired one of my favorite Indian covers of all time. This is classic SoundCloud energy. A diss against Space Ghost Perp and a tribute for ASAP Yams. Everyone on the track contributes. I love Ski's verse of red, white, black Pokemon, my ting, and then the people be dedicated to the victims of the parkland florida school shooting i'm a big fan of this track because during this time i was at a high school and it was an uplifting track for me to be a better person to my fellow students and strangers and be kinder to them a dark and violent track that glorifies gang violence revenge and murder the lyrics are raw aggressive and filled with references to guns death and sex overall the song seems to celebrate the gangster lifestyle and who is willing to do whatever it takes to get what he wants when everyone on the group project does their job i don't even understand Keith ape but his lyrics sound crazy x opens up the track with so much energy chiga has the best verse on the song an ear piercer bass distorted soundcloud certified classic the beat hits harder than my dad's belt on young brats the protagonist talks about violence and having a lot of money and women who want to have sex with him he ends by saying he dumped his previous partner and is looking for someone to hold his money beats crazy bars crazy energy unbound a perfect pregame song turn up it's game day baby very rare. Song makes you want to rob a bank. Whenever X sucks in his snot or coughs, we're guaranteed a classic. I'm absolutely obsessed with this one. I love the background vocals while X comes in with a grimy cadence. Wing-ridden angel pertains to a point of view of a man losing his girlfriend to suicide. A song that has personally helped me through my own tough times and heartbreak and helps to heal my own torn heartstrings. A group of calm gentlemen talking about the society. A pure hype. Everyone should know this song, syllable by syllable, especially how X pronounced is George W. Bush. First things first, bad vibes forever. I don't want to do this anymore. It's different, especially when you've accepted moving on from a failed relationship. Favorite song on 17. I love X's delivery and how fast his flow is. I adore the Shiloh Dynasty intro into the beat drop. Everybody dies in their nightmares, explains how he can't feel happy with love however he needs it. Came the dead, I'll sever your head. The second verse is even better than the first verse. The first verse can be interpreted as basically being braggadocious in nature, however he does not proceed to brag about his wealth as a conventional rapper would do. Instead, Jaw depicts himself as the king of the dead, a hellish figure who has demons under his command. Second verse gives a deeper, more down-to-earth look into XXX Tentacion's character, or how he perceives himself. As he is relayed, he is out of his mind, but as more literally dealing with mental issues. He expresses that he despises himself. The first song I ever heard on SoundCloud. Vice City holds a special place in my heart, a certified classic with an iconic melancholy beat, while X delivers cynical rhymes dealing with temporary joy, death, and the response of the world to his opinions. Magnus Opus Mensa vibes bars on par with the biblical writings of peter when god inspired him to write the bible X gives his two cents on the killings of African Americans across the United States and the riots that ensue. X condemns the officers who abuse their authority and power, but he also condemns those who riot as a form of protest. X expresses that they should consider the people behind the businesses that they loot and destroy. He wants them to think about and realize how their spontaneous actions can have lasting repercussions for the victims and their families. He sympathizes with their pain, but he wants them to channel their energy in a different and more peaceful way. Riot ends with a racially motivated 
Klansman outro. Looking back at the BLM protests now, I can say for certain that the song was ahead of its time and perfectly surmises what occurred. And coming in at number one, Let's Pretend We're Numb represents being honest with your own feelings and true colors to be shown. Features productions by Kayed with samples from Yuna's Someone Out of Town. The beat is transcendent and seamlessly flows with majestic lyrics. Let's Pretend We're Numb explores a man who has lost the love of his life through his own mistakes. He further acknowledges his jealousy and regret of not holding on to her. Conveying emotions of despair, he continues to yearn for her trust. In the end, he must detach himself from the pain of the breakup by losing all feeling. The pure truth and raw feelings from this song ascends beyond the fourth dimension, and the iconic lines flow through me like a tsunami. Let's pretend we're numb ends with an apology that the man is still struggling to come to terms with the loss of once was.